Today, I get to show you the 2022 R-Pod R190. Come on, let's check it out. Welcome back. Today we are at South Thompson RV in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, and they got a 2022 R pod in, so we can't wait to show it to you. It's a very cool floor plan, small trailer. It's going to be wonderful. As always, currency converter, timestamps, research tool, all those things are in the description. And of course, if we're providing you with any value, please feel free, buy us a coffee, or you can always click subscribe if you haven't already. We love that too. Thanks to Todd and Annette for another coffee or two or three. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you so much. So we are going to get started here now. The construction of the R-Pod we'll link to at the end so that you can learn all of the ins and outs of that too. But we're going to take you around to the exterior and we're going to take you inside. Starting at the front, this window is a new feature. It is uh, acrylic and we'll show you how it all opens up on the inside, but it is hinged and you can open it up and it has a screen and all that. They also have these cool graphics. Now, uh, these colors we did see in 21 as well, but we really like them, so I'm glad they kept them for 22. With the gold and the black, you do get um, the, this is a bike rack, so you can, uh, I think it's an option. I don't think it's a standard, but check that to be sure. But you can mount your bikes here. Electric jack, uh, 20 pound propane, and here is your rock guard. I wish they'd move that up a little higher just because it would protect things better. Battery disconnects over here. And as well, you are getting uh, four manual stabilizer jacks. So coming down the side here, uh, nice windows. That one's going to be your emergency exit, but they are sliders and I'm happy with that. Here is where you're filling your tank. Uh, this is your city water connection. And you do get a spot down here to put your hose. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the slide, because this is a small trailer, but you're still getting a slide, which I love because, well, I'll tell you all the numbers later, but what I love is that this is small enough that our Jeep could pull it and I still will get a slide. So I love that. Schwintech, perfectly appropriate for this size. Um, what else can I tell you about? It does not have a slide topper, but it does have rain rails to divert the rain away from the slide topper. But I would talk to the lovely people here at South Thompson because you might be able to put one on. Coming down, your cable uh, hookup is here, your 30 amp is here, and you get a gray, here's a sewer with your gray, but you know what? I think there's another one up here, yep. So in front of the tire is a sewer connection with your black pole. And then back here is where the gray is. So not loving that completely, but you're going to have to hook up to, you're going to have to wire them and then it goes into the thing. Not a big deal, but just a thought for you. Uh, also the underbelly of the R pod is not enclosed. So another thing just to be thoughtful of because these valves, won't be heated okay coming back here is a compartment which is on a magnet i love that and it's quite spacious when you look through like it's actual pass-through storage right how nice is that and then here again is that manual stabilizer jack coming around to the back your spare this is a nice spot for the spare but please cover it and do something to protect it from the sun. Another nice back window. And coming around this side, we do have the other um, pass-through storage side. So there's a fair amount of good storage in there. Let's come up to the front here. Another door on the magnet and another big storage space, right? now. The R pods also have the rail here, and this rail is so that you can hang your uh, 
it has a grill that comes with it and you can hang that on there so that's pretty handy you also get a spray port some electricity and here's your black tank flush so the challenge with that which isn't a big deal it's just that you're putting your hose over here to do your flushing but you got to run over to the other side to open your valves and hook everything up so just again something to think about you do get speakers and you get this wonderful electric awning with led lights and like there's not going to be arms down the sides with this it's just going to pull out so that'll be kind of cool talk tires now remember there's different sizes of the air parts so go check that out in the construction video um, but they have a great fender here this is a west lake st235 slash 75 r15 tire and it is a more aggressive tire uh, because it is the hood river edition and i think that just gets you a bit a uh, little bit beefier system okay coming back to our steps so these are kind of a combination of metal and aluminum so they just will fold up and tuck in under here and then you get a good grab bar and i've mentioned this before when we've done other r pods i absolutely love this glass door the whole thing is not glass you're not looking in and out but it just is such a nice look a, a nice feature it is locked up jesus i got the keys i got the keys relax we're still in business maybe Try this one. There we go. We got it. We got it. No panic here. Okay. So it is a friction door. Uh, that's as far as it goes. It does have a bumper on it, so it's not banging anything. Um, there's a screen door here, which is quite a decent size. There is the window up here that has uh, oh, it doesn't have the screen in it, but it's ready. So if you decide you want to have that screen, this is set up for it. Honestly, we wouldn't choose that because I don't want to come out here on the step and deal with the screen. So for us, wouldn't be an issue. Okay, you ready? Come on inside and let's take a look at the R190. Come on. Welcome to the R-Pod R190. Really quite nice. I mean, these are small trailers. Very nice, light, white cabinetry and decor. Kind of beigey colored seats, that sort of thing. But really quite bright. So, right here when you walk in the door, this is where your TV is going to be. I'll figure out what the size of that is. But you do have USB and it's 12 volt. Up here is like your awning and your slide and that kind of stuff. And then here is a, uh, I'm guessing like radio system. <laughs> Some type of today's entertainment setup. Some type, it does have USB, okay? So you could plug in your phone there. <laughs> but this coming down, you've got a little bit of a shelf here. You know that's going to be filled with things like this and keys and stuff. Um, and then there's the two areas to capture stuff. Then it moves into this really quite spacious, nice dinette, right? Like this is great. It is a U-shaped dinette, so you're gonna sit lots of people here. It's also gonna make into a bed. You've got tons of windows. This one's really big and it has the uh, pleated blinds you'll notice that it, the uh, windows just have boxes at the top, not down the sides. I really like this. I mean, it's a very open spot to sit with a bunch of people. Now, this is just the two post, remove the post, put the table down, put the cushions, the traditional setup. I kind of think I'd like it to be a little bit bigger especially back here like i'm a long ways from the table now i get it's this size because this is the size of the space they need to fill in to make the bed but i would also like to see maybe it be on a bit of a slider thing or the lagoon thing that could move around uh, a little bit if it has to stay this size just me you know telling manufacturers what they could do <laughs> <laughs> uh, i do like the airpods 
I also want to point out that there's some electrical down here and under mm -hmm. that bench there's a door uh, that opens up into that pass-through storage space underneath so I like that and then you come over to your slide area and this is where all the kitchen stuff is so I quite like it you've got this nice white cabinetry and so there's the cupboard it is on a strut it goes all the way there's lots of space up there you got some LED lighting here you've got an electrical outlet here check out this tap very nice with an actual cutting board in the sink and a very cool round nicely caulked sink love that and so how's your countertop not the greatest there's some back there but I could use the table easily and this is a small trailer this is a thermal foil countertop so there's no seams here is your two burner propane suburban stove quite nice moving down uh, here's some storage for you uh, I mean you always have to work around the plumbing but there is space there that you can work around and then over here you get the convection microwave and this is a pretty decent size and it's an oven as well come on back and check out this is the Norcold uh, uh, gas electric fridge Corey and I have been debating he says four point what was your guess my guess is four point seven <laughs> okay we'll see if he's right <laughs> and then coming back um, you do have the uh, central vac system you know with the little sweeper bit because I like that because of course no carpet anywhere in here this is all vinyl there's an opening down here that you could easily make for shoes or something like that there's a nice closet space here with a rod I mean you can always use more storage but this is good and then you get three drawers all on roller gliders all great let's talk about the ceiling while we're here because remember the rpod has the curved ceiling but this gives you an ac speakers and lots of led lighting so that's nice come on back to the bedroom first i want you to look underneath here because there's a ton more storage and you could put bins or something like that in there uh, i'll figure out the size of this bed but i'm going to say it's a queen and there's windows everywhere so i don't want to put my shoes on the bed so we're going to have to bear with me but this is that front window that was acrylic and then it just opens with the there you just push it open it has a screen that rides up from the bottom or a darkening blind that pulls down from the top how cool is that so you could have huge window you can have airflow you can deal with light however you like you've got more windows on this side you've got a big shelf up here that's great as well also there is um, a 12 volt place for a TV and cable over on that wall now let's take a look at the other thing the AirPod has it's a bathroom but not just a bathroom it's a dry bath so you're getting a small trailer come on in it's got a dry bath so smaller shower and a small trailer but it's still pretty good look at how tall it is you get a skylight you also get a roof uh, vent and fan it's the standard one piece of plastic surround and the base is also a standard piece no caulking standard taps and shower head with the um, it's kind of a curtainy material and it's on a radius that just slides around that's it it's good I don't see anything wrong with that over to the sink area you get a good um, mirror and cabinet oh that's pretty decent storage in there and then you get a nice countertop with a fair amount of space over there with electric and I'm seeing there's the water heater and pump buttons are over there as well as what the levels in your tanks are uh, small sink but that's okay it's a small too average taps let's check out the storage pretty decent storage actually 
so that's good. And then coming over, you get a plastic foot flush toilet and some storage over here. There's a little, little tight on this side, but that's okay. You do also get switches in here, so I like that. And that takes us to the Cracker Barrel factor. Let me just see what that means. So this is the slide, and it's going to come in about this far. I'm afraid that <laughs> the truth of the matter is there's not that great of a Cracker Barrel factor. When you bring this slide in, the most you're going to be able to do is come in the door and slip into that dinette. You would be able to also reach your sink, but you're not getting... Well, you can reach your sink and you could probably reach the stove from over there. Uh, you're not getting at your fridge and you're not getting at your bed and you're not getting into your bathroom. So that's kind of a bummer. But it all comes down to the fact that this is such a small trailer and I can't wait to tell you the numbers because it's actually under 3,000 pounds. Let's take a look at those numbers. Next, it's the numbers for the 2022 RPOD R190. So I did a bunch of checking, found out that this dinette area comes in at 44 by 74. The front bed comes in at 60 by 74 and the shower is 32 inches. Right. <laughs> then I went looking because between the brochure and what's actually on the sticker on the trailer, uh, those can be different sometimes and it's just that they do some generalities when they're making a brochure but when it comes down to the actual trailer they weigh it and they put the sticker on there that says what this trailer actually weighs so the gross vehicle weight on this one came in at 3,807 pounds the uh, dry weight came in around 3,100 pounds so I told you before that it was an under 3,000 pound trailer which is close but not exact so i really want you to make sure you look at the stickers the fact of the matter is you need a vehicle that can pull at least a minimum of four thousand pounds in order to tow this trailer now then comes the cargo carrying capacity and this trailer it is 637 pounds but if you were to fill it up with water as you left home to head out almost half of your cargo carrying capacity is taken up in the water so this is an important detail for you either maybe you want to have more cargo in the trailer and fill up with water when you get there or you're going to fill up with water before you leave and expect to not be able to put much more than 350 pounds of cargo into this trailer with you so just that we want you to make sure you understand all of that now let me tell you the rest of the numbers uh, the length comes in at 20.2 feet, the uh, fresh water is at 30 gallons, and the gray and the black are each at 30 gallons as well. Also, there is a 6 gallon uh, water heater, a 20,000 BTU central furnace, so it's not ducted anywhere, it just blows and it's plenty good to heat this trailer. I also wanted to mention that there's a propane quick disconnect uh, outside that I forgot to show you. And then of course the all important number here at South Thompson RV, you can get this retail, so there's probably some room for discussion in there, for 40,829 Canadian dollars. So of course in the description is the currency converter so that you can change it up for wherever you are at. I will put some links up here at the end so that you can learn a lot more about the construction of the R-Pod or come along on an adventure. We love having you along for those as well. If we provided you with any value, click the link in the description and feel free to buy us a cup of coffee. And please, if we are entertaining you or you are enjoying coming along on our videos, just hit the subscribe. And if this is the one you're getting, I don't know, Nick, we met up with Nick here. He was checking it out, one of our subscribers. Maybe he'll get this one. If this is the one for you, let us know. We love hearing about it. Thanks for watching.